Huh? What the hell? Do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? You have to answer questions. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Will you please tell the jury your full name? Uh, David uh, R. Spiegel. How many patients have you treated over the 30 years? Quite a lot, uh, probably in the tens of thousands. Your Honor, I'd move to qualify Dr. Spiegel as an expert in the field of psychiatry and behavioral sciences with specific emphasis on drug and alcohol abuse, intimate partner violence, and the effect of these as they pertain to the issues in this case. All right, any objections? Objection. You've never conducted any empirical research on individuals who experience intimate partner violence, have you, sir? I've reviewed the body of literature on intimate partner violence to get two review articles, yes. So, you, so you've read about it is what you just testified to? I would have to disagree with you on that, sir. Reading about it and writing a review article are completely two different things, sir. All right. Because people who have suffered from trauma, intimate partner violence, are prone to increase sensitivity of somatic sensations, which can manifest in temporal manipulatives. Thank you, I appreciate that. Nice plug for my book, too, thank you. Didn't hear it, but there we go. And IPV doesn't appear in your CV at all. If, if you say it's not in my CV, I will believe you. What the hell is even that? Do you remember my question? Well, someone who cuts themselves, burns themselves, can cut a tip of their finger off with or without alcohol or cocaine, or the rest, the answer is... Objection yeah. beyond the scope of the question. Please continue. Was it overruled? It okay. was overruled. Okay. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> may be able to control... And what effect would this have on Mr. Depp and the dosage uh, he was taking? Again, I'm still waiting for an objection. Okay, again, what it would do is have the street value of substance use disorders so two scourges in this country. There are two plagues. This is very serious stuff we're playing with. And when you are just getting someone closer and closer to the threshold... Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. This is highly relevant, Your Honor. Uh, I'll overrule as to relevance. It's beyond the scope. Go ahead. Beyond the scope of the question? Yes. All right, I'll sustain that objection. All right. Um, do survivors of intimate partner violence experience mental health issues? Can you repeat the question? When I saw what? What, if any, record evidence do you have that correlates with Mr. Depp uh, being narcissistic? Why, well, I do think that the fact that he thought that Amber owed him, Ms. Heard owed him. Objection, Your Honor. Thank you. Go ahead. Yes. Would would being envious fit within that? Yes. Fragile self-esteem? Yes. Uh, and uh, can you explain what you mean by this whole trial? You this proceeding would go, yeah. the, this court yeah, case yes. would go through. There's an objection, sir.
Then he started confusing everybody. Correlation and causation aren't the same thing, are they, sir? Correlation? No, they're not the same thing. No, how are they different? Correlation is consistent with causation is direct link. Can you say that again? I, you were so fast that I didn't hear it. I'm sorry about that. Correlation is a risk for something happening. Causation is a direct link. Right. At deposition, didn't you say that what you did was compare Mr. Depp's performance in lots of pirate movies against his deposition testimony what here? I, what I said was I've seen Mr. Depp do apology ads. I remember he did apology ad with Bad Dog, with no delay in process speed. I've seen him interact with the media regarding to that. I saw no delay in processing speed. All I'm saying- Let me ask you about pirates though. You compared pirates to the tech, uh, to, to the depositions given then in this I, case. Then I apologize for what I said. Then I misspoke. You misspoke, you didn't make the comparison? Right now, just a second ago? Just a second ago, I, I may have said that I misspoke. I apologize, I misspoke. Okay. But you I, can, but as an aside, you can judge someone's processing speed at any time. Like I'm judging yours right now, you're judging mine. We all judge processing speed as a baseline because of what we know about each other. I would say your process speed right now is not slow. So, I you. mean, we're judging processing speed, I'm just saying <laughs> to you. Yeah. Oh, um, he saw them cringe. So, but no, any of Mr. That's Jeff's not nice. Other portrayals in movies, did that affect your analysis of processing speed? Only I've seen him interact on interviews right. and that was it. Right. When he wasn't in movies. What, right. But Willy Wonka doesn't matter to you. you? You see him in that movie, Charlie and Chocolate Factory? Did you look at that one when you were comparing his processing speed? Do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? You have to answer questions. Yes, sir. No, you'll be happy to know I didn't see Willy Wonka. As a, and I didn't see 21 Jump Street when it happened. Or whatever it was about. No, I did not. All right. Then he started getting defensive. So at the end of the day, you are essentially saying that unless someone has directly evaluated it, there, this whole medical system we have, this whole legal system we have, is null and void. Uh, I, I'm not saying. No, yes, you are, sir. I, no, you are. Give me a, give me a second, and I'll, okay. I'll give you more than a second. What I'm asking you, sir, is did you comply with the ethical requirements of the APA when, refer, when rendering the professional opinions that you've rendered today? It is a. It is a requirement of the APA. It is not the requirement of the APA. Secondarily, so the again, answer is no. Secondarily, 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 again, in order to not, you, we we wasted our whole morning because of an expert witness before me. There's an expert witness is everyone brought in. So all I'm saying to you that means the whole field of medical legal law is corrupt and unethical for engaging in an act that the APA clearly says we should not do. So if you're saying that, then the answer is yes, I'm agreeing with that statement. Funny, it was named after the, according to your logic, if you don't put something in the title, it's not true. That's what you told me this morning, I believe, about my intimate partner violence. So what I'm saying to you then, sir, is that if you say this about an individual, again, any court would have to render expert witness testimony invalid. Any doctor that reviews charts would have to render it invalid. I can go on a list of docs that do not see any patients directly, and that's a violation. So basically, you are saying that unless you do a direct clinical evaluation, then all of the field of forensic psychiatry and all of uh, managed care is due to an unethical violation because we are not seeing the present. We deny patients medications all the time without seeing them. We deny patients treatments, unfortunately, without seeing them. And I'm on the receiving end of that. So the answer to your question, again, unless you were saying to me that all of this is unethical, which is what you were saying. This is what you were, this is how I'm interpreting what you were saying to me. That unless you do the evaluation directly yourself, therefore, it cannot be considered ethical. And I'm telling you how that applicable to not just expert law, but also managed care, and applicable to multiple branches of medicine. Hospital duration of hospitalization stay get evaluated. So tell me, tell me where you want me to end this. Well, okay, where are we, where are we, where are we talk about? What you found hard to believe, sir, was that every every line of the script was was pumped through an earpiece where did you ever get the idea that ever that occurred that's what i have been that's what i read and the uh, court review the court evidence that's where i got it from right you know where, whether marlon brando used an earpiece whether isn't he dead <laughs> yeah so the answer is no he does not use one now <laughs> no I, I i i used the past tense sir. oh i'm sorry uh i again 
I know nothing. I will concede to you, I know nothing about acting. Thank you very much, Dr. Spiegel. All right, thank you. Sir, you can have a seat either in the courtroom or you're free to go. Thank you. All right, your next witness. I miss him already. 